Let's add a custom tooltip to our item. All right, we found ourselves back in Intelligent once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom tooltip to our item. And this is actually fairly straightforward. We might have seen this in some popular mods, right? For example, Mechanism has this where you hover over the item and then you press, you know, Shift or I think it's also Control M, something like that. And then some additional information appears on the item. And that is what we're going to add to our eight ball over here. For this, we actually need a custom item class and we want to overwrite the append tooltip method over here, append tooltip. So we're going to choose this, press the tab key to autocomplete, and then we're going to add this. So what we need is we need to check whether or not the user presses the shift key. And the way this works is we're going to say if screen dot has shift down, we're going to do something. And then also we're going to add an else statement over here. And then here we're saying press shift for more information. So we can actually add some text to this tooltip list over here. You can also add multiple ones and that's going to add a new line. So that is all that we need to do there. So at, so tooltip.add, we're going to say text.literal and this is going to be press shift for more info. And then we're also going to say format it with the formatting of let's say let's do yellow over here for the thing that we have to say and then we're just going to copy this over. That's going to make this a little bit easier. We're going to say here, right click to to get a random number. And we're going to make this the aqua color. I think that that's a great. And that is actually, I kid you not, all that we need to do to add this particular functionality to our eight ball item. As I've said, you basically do need a custom item class. You can also make this with anonymous classes as well. If you don't know what that means, I suggest some Java knowledge as well. So my Java introduction can only be recommended for this. It will only help you in the long run. But when it comes to the tooltips, let's join Minecraft and see if it works. All right, found ourselves in Minecraft again. And let's see, let's hover over the eight ball. And there we go, press shift for more info. And if I press shift, then click to get a random number. So exactly how you'd expect it to work, it actually does work. This can add so much additional information to your items. This is going to be very helpful to your players. So I highly recommend checking this out and adding this as well. Right, and this is how easy it can be to add a custom tooltip to your item. And that it also concludes this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you'll learn something new and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Oh so, yeah.